Splatoon 2 is going to be a very interesting game to review, because at the end of the video, you'll see that I'll give Splatoon 2 a good score. But there are little things about the game that annoy me so much. The dilemma is, Splatoon 2 is a really good game. A great game, in fact. But the thing is, so is Splatoon 1, and there's where the problem lies. It does almost nothing different. We all know how much I hated the changes made between Luigi's Mansion and Luigi's Mansion 2, but I at least respect the fact that they tried to do something to make the game longer and more fun. With Splatoon 2, they changed nothing, or at least almost nothing. Well, let me explain all the problems I have with it. Firstly, the map rotation. Look, I am personally fine with it, but at least give us more maps to rotate between and make sure that we don't get the same stage over and over and over again. When I first played the online multiplayer, I got humpback pump track five times in a row and I didn't even get to play Murray Towers. Why? Because after each game, you may switch lobbies so you won't be guaranteed to get the other stage. So you can get the same stage multiple times in a row and it gets annoying quickly. Like, I can deal with two stages in two hours, that's fine, but once you get to the same stage multiple times in a row, you kind of want to get the other stage. Speaking of map rotation, over time, two hours to be exact, the maps change, and you'll get a notification and then a loading screen every time it happens. So all of a sudden, you'll be waiting to get into a lobby, and then all of a sudden, you'll get a notification that says the maps have been changed, and then you'll be put into this loading screen, you have to wait so, it's, it's so, I hate it. I don't even know the proper word to describe it. It just slows things down a lot. And it just makes it very unpleasant. Secondly, ranked mode. It has no turf war whatsoever. It has some other things like Rainmaker and all that, but it still doesn't have turf war. It kind of sucks that there's no turf war for ranked, because if people above level 10 want turf war, they have to play with the levels 1 through 10 players. Plus, since team balancing is so whack, sometimes it can literally be impossible for a team to win. Yes, that has actually happened to me where they don't balance the teams well enough. Literally, as you see right now, three of the four people on the opposing team have levels higher than our highest level guy. It's bad. Thirdly, Salmon Run. I can't even say much about it because I had played a whole whopping two rounds. The last time I tried and was looking to play, it was active from 2 a.m. to 2 p.m. AKA, not a good time for me to play because I have a life, Nintendo. I won't just wake up early in the morning just to play Salmon Run. And that is another thing. Why can I only play Salmon Run at certain times? They're trying to make this world more immersive and real, making like, oh, they can hire at certain times. But to me, it just hinders the experience. I want to be able to play Salmon Run whenever I want to, not when the game tells me to. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Zack Pack, why is this game going to get a high mark if you literally just said so many bad things about it? Well, because the game is still so fucking fun and addictive. Literally, I will sit and play Turf War whenever I can because it is so much fun to play. There's just so much about the game that's good. It takes the good things about the first game and emphasizes them even more. Now, many people are complaining about trying to play with friends and how much of a complicated mess that is. Well, lucky for me, I have no friends, so this is really not an issue for me right now. Also, many people complained about their single-player experience. While I haven't completed it as of this recording, I still think it's pretty good thus far. The only real complaint that I have is that Nintendo kind of cheated us a little bit. How so? They said that you could choose any weapon for any level unlike the first game, which is technically true. However, to be able to use whichever weapon you want, basically you have to beat the stage with the weapon that Sheldon provides you. Sheldon's kind of the weapons guy. He gives you weapons, all that stuff. And I'm not gonna replay a level just to use my favorite weapon. For example, if I'm like, oh, I wanna use my roller this level. Well, guess what? Sheldon will give you a charger, and I'm like, I don't wanna use a charger, but you have to so that you can collect data. So the thing is, come on, Nintendo. Shooters have been relevant in online gaming for over 10 years now. I get that you wanna try and be different, but don't try and change what doesn't need to be changed. Fix these complaints and I could easily raise the score of this game to a 9.5. I would like to give this game an 8 for the following reasons. Even though these small things hinder the experience, 
it isn't enough to make me hate the game by any means. I absolutely love playing Turf War, and the little bit of Salmon Run I have played has been very unique and very fun. Like I said, once Nintendo actually starts listening to us and makes those changes, I could easily see this game being popular over here in America and being a 9.5 for me. So I hope you enjoyed guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.